welcome back to Love and Romance Tarot Readings. I'm excited to get into today's pick a card. Today we're going to see what options do you have in love right now? Who wants to date you? What are you manifesting in? What can you make work? What can you bring forward? What does the universe have, you know, waiting in the wings for you? We're going to get into all that. Um, so yeah, my Etsy shop is in the description. If you'd like a private tarot reading, that is where you can find me. Other than that, pause the video if you need more time with the piles. You can always pick more than one pile. We have group one with the sunstone and the animal totem tarot. Group two with the zebra stone and the everyday witch tarot. Group three with the citrine and the arcanum tarot. And group four with the clear quartz and the third eye tarot. So like I said, pause the video if you need more time, but we're just gonna get into it. All right, if you chose group one with the sunstone, this is your reading. We'll be using the animal totem tarot for you today. And we're going to see what options do you have in love right now, okay? Who wants to date you or what's going on in your love life? Spirit, this is for group one with the sunstone. Show us their options in love at this time. What are their options? <clears throat> Oh no, we have the devilish card. Now I'm hearing, um, I can't even say the title of that song, but it's by Rihanna. It's called Blank With You and it's like, Blank With You, so amazing. <laughs> I'm hearing, stay off of my Instagram, Pure Temptation. Um, you have a lot of temptation around you right now. If you want to be devilish, if you want to partake in physical intimacy, there seems to be absolutely no shortage of that around you at this time. <laughs> we got the play a card. Oh my goodness. Um, so you guys may be finding yourself in more of a player energy, like trying to play the field, trying to align yourself to whatever feels good to you in the moment, but ultimately kind of just <clears throat> doing your thing, not feeling pressured to, uh, you know, be in a relationship, not feeling pressured to choose someone. You want to choose the best option, but you'll only do that when the best option is, you know, presented in front of you. If it's not presented in front of you, then you're kind of in this space where it's like, okay, the timing must not be right, but I'm still going to enjoy this moment. So it seems like you have a lot of friends with benefits or, you know, sacral based connections that you could entertain at this time. So if you've been looking for a bit of fun, just know that's an option for you. Um, also, people may be noticing your glow up. If you've had any sort of glow up, um, you may notice that your attraction is stronger. You're attracting in more consistent attention, that kind of thing. Devilish says, whatever I want. Playa says playing the field. So like I said, you're playing the field, doing your thing. And it's really about like who puts in the effort to at least let you know that they're interested. I feel like that's where you guys are at, where it's like, okay, at least let me know that you're interested. I'm not going to be out here chasing anyone, but I am willing to play for some of you, not all of you. Uh, we have differences, reciprocity, and deep in love. Honestly, some of you are calling out for someone new in your life, but also there's this like memories energy, this uh, energy of like reminiscing, reminiscing on a past relationship or at a point in your life where you were deep in love and you're trying to figure out, okay, what has changed from then to now that is now making the love offer so much more slow coming in. When you were younger, you may have had a lot of options or there was just like always something happening, always an opportunity to meet someone. Honestly, I feel like a part of that is just getting older because you're not in school. So you just, it's like the law of relativity. You don't have that congested community of people around your exact same age also in the same point in life as you all around you like you do in school um so it could be some of that if you've you know graduated a few years ago plus um and you know you're working or working from home 
that could be why there's a lull. Um, but yeah, it seems like the options you have right now, group one, it seems like you're very different than them and you're looking for reciprocity. You want to be deep in love like you have been before, or you know that it's possible. You want to experience that, but it seems like everyone is just on some kind of player energy. And instead of getting played, you'll match that energy or you'll play the game better. But there is an energy of you guys only playing kind of cause you have to. Um, not because you want to, because if people weren't giving out that energy where it's like, okay, you have to be on top of it so you don't get played or, you know, you have to kind of always be prepared in a sense, then you could probably be more chill and you probably would be more chill with those different circumstances. So I see you're kind of caught at this fork in the road where it's like, how do I move forward? You're really trying to figure it out because... I don't feel like you feel like the best way to move is to be in a player energy. Again, it just kind of feels necessary to keep your options open and to stay alert. There's a little bit of an energy of you feeling like you can't trust anyone at this point, like anyone could play you. You may have gotten in a connection with someone you thought was going to be just the sweetest thing and they turned out to be a demon and it's like, okay, you know what? Let me get up on my spiritual protection, but also my, you know, personal protection and let me be more assertive and alert. And it kind of just takes the romance out of everything. Um, we do have possessive and unconditional. So I am picking up on someone who has a very strong attachment to you. You probably already know who this is. Um, I feel like this either goes in like an angry direction where this person may have like an anger issue or in a sad direction where this person may like kind of be a <clears throat> what's the word for it I don't know just someone who's constantly moping and like they're really like woe is me you know like just kind of have like a victim mentality so it's like they don't ever fully break up with you or tell you like I don't want to talk to you anymore but this is like the energy of a person who will kind of treat you wrong and then bring up all the reasons why they're not a healthy partner. Like instead of changing, they're like, well, you know, I went through X, Y, Z as a kid or in my first relationship. And it's like, okay, but af after a certain point, you got to heal um, from that and, and move forward. I feel like you know who that is. But with the unconditional card, this person, see, this is an attachment. Like, uncon like, <laughs> possessive and unconditional together is an attachment it's not like you know I'm so deep in love willing to give you that reciprocity it's like I'm gonna be here till death to his part because I'm possessive over you and I'm identified with you this feels like a karmic or a twin flame someone who has a strong emotional attachment to you um but it almost feels like in the physical department that's where they're MIA it feels like spiritually mentally the connection is there but like physically even when it's just like can we share space together like do we hang out it's like that's where I'm feeling their absence so that's very interesting spirit what are their options <clears throat> so far it is giving friends with benefits you know physically intimate connections as of now it is giving like more of that than anything um Nice. We got the trust card. So as soon as some people may be losing faith, spirit is actually letting you know there is someone better coming in. And we have the separation card. Let's just get the yucky out of the way. Time apart from your partner is on the horizon is what it says at the bottom of the card. So you may be in a uh, separation with this person that has this unconditional attachment towards you. <coughs> You can be in no contact. You could be in a separation. There's definitely an energy of them being able to feel your absence. Um, but at the same time, I feel like spirit has kind of orchestrated this. So if you feel like, you know what, I want to go back to this person, but they're being difficult. Some of that is not even them. A lot of that is spirit saying, okay, it's time to move on because there's other things that you've been calling out to manifest into your reality and it's time to do that. We have past life relationship. 
It says you have known each other before. So what you're calling in at this time, group one, is a past life love connection. Um, a past life love connection, someone that you will resonate with in spirit, someone who you feel that strong magnetism towards right away because you already have past lives together. <clears throat> so this will most likely feel like love at first sight. And then we have trust and it is safe for you to love. Um, so spirit is saying, open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all, which is what it says at the bottom of it is safe for you to love. Trust says the situation is calling for you to have faith. Spirit is wanting you to be patient because there is someone already picked out for you. So if you've been kind of waiting, 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 I'm just noticing at the bottom of the deck, we have give your relationship a chance. Um, spirit is saying this is still manifesting. Give it some time to come through. The options that you have in love right now, you probably already know about. You can go back to this karmic. That's one energy. You can entertain. I mean, pick one. <clears throat> pick the hottest one, whatever one you want. Um, these friends with benefits options, like I see people trying to flirt with you, you know, as you're just passing by, going through their workplace, a restaurant, a bookstore, you know, wherever you are, the grocery store. Um, people are kind of chatting you up and being extra kind of flirty and open with you these days. Um, any of those, or you can wait out for a past life love connection that will give you the safety that you need to really go there, like go deep in a romantic connection. It does kind of feel like you got the shorter end of the stick, but honestly, I feel like that probably is coming from a place of comparison um, because once you have this, nice, we got the soulmate card. Yeah, spirit is like, listen, you want reciprocity. You want to be deep in love. You want a soulmate. And I want you to have that too, but not the soulmate that is karmic and keeps you stuck. The one that is reciprocal. It's like, I have things to give to you just like you have things to give to me. Someone who it's worth loving, worth being connected to. Someone you can be proud of and introduce like your friends, family to. You know, just someone where it's like, okay, this makes sense. This is this is a good thing for my life. Spirit's like, I want you to have that as well. Um, so we have the soulmate card. This past life relationship connection, not surprised. Typically, they do have that kind of soulmate overlap uh, because it's like, okay, you've experienced past life, you know, past lives together for a certain reasons to help each other, support each other, give love to each other in those lifetimes. So of course, that would be soulmate energy. That's it ultimately what a soulmate is there's always that super strong romantic aspect but soulmate connections in their bare bones is to help you grow and evolve specific people that just have what it is that you need to thrive to get better to experience you know what you deserve in this life all sorts of things so spirit tell us more about their options we have the Nine of Cups, the Queen of Pentacles, Strength in Reverse, the Four of Swords, and the Five of Swords in Reverse. Your main thing right now, Group One, is just trying to avoid all the temptation. We have the Queen of Pentacles, so you likely find yourself really hot, really sexy right now. It's an energy of really feeling yourself. Queen of Pentacles is knowing your value. Nine of Cups is having the feeling the results of it in your life like a full kitchen a full bookshelf a full resources like you can entertain yourself easily you weren't able to say that at a certain part in your journey there's always tools that you have around you where you can learn more things nine of cups is also an energy of being in a pocket of like ultimate creativity so you may be having really late nights right now creating painting or you know doing whatever your creative outlet is you may be finding yourself to be more nocturnal um but more than anything it's like queen of pentacles you're finding yourself super hot right now so it's like listen i want to perform i want to play i want to interact but with my specific person like it's like that's why you can't do that right now it's not that you don't want to be devilish and you don't have fun and play but you want to do that in a safe space so i see that you're trying to find the middle ground and it is coming 
<clears throat> we have the Four of Swords. So ultimately, I think you're pretty good. Ultimately, Four of Swords, you choose the best thing for you. But I definitely see that temptation with the Five of Swords in reverse and the Strength card in reverse. It is not easy. And also, it feels like... It, it may feel like for some of you, you're losing in some way or people are sleeping on you. I'm getting a little bit of that uh, with the Strength card in reverse and Five of Swords in reverse because you have this weird kind of sense of defeat right now, even though you're the one making, you know, the the ultimate choice, like not to deal with someone. And I feel like it's just because it's the healthy choice. Like, who the freak feels good after they eat broccoli? Like, don't nobody want broccoli as a side dish? But we eat it because we know it's good for us. But it's like, what do you expect me to do? Light a firework and do a split after I have broccoli? No, I have the broccoli. It's over and I want to move on. <laughs> That's kind of how some of you guys are like over it. Like, I know this is the healthy decision, but I'm not feeling the theatrics and the woo. I'm so good anymore. It's just annoying. I want to play. I feel that so hard. We have the Three of Cups in reverse. I mean, you don't have to close yourself off unless, honestly, you may be just realizing that maybe you're more of a person that thrives being alone. That may be your truth. And we get a lot of programming literally in school. It's all about community and activities and going to games and participating in clubs and going to see the school musical that such and such and such is in and doing this and doing that. Like, our life experience really does create this pedestal for friendship and connection that just isn't realistic or appropriate or uh, is not going to resonate for everyone. It just isn't. So I feel like right now the battle may be mostly in your head because as soon as you can accept that about yourself, like, you know what? <laughs> maybe I don't want to go out anymore and look good. It doesn't make me feel good. I feel better when I'm in the house doing what I want to do. As soon as you, you know, the sooner you can accept that, the better, because this is just torture. It's kind of like you suffer twice because you suffer by choosing the right thing. That's like eating the broccoli, but then you suffer double because you're mad at yourself for doing it. And it's like, okay, come on. You may be getting stuck on a loop in your head. And I feel like it's just time for you to find a new community because with the Three of Cups in reverse, it's like the things that I know to do to connect with people, I don't want to do or I don't feel called to. So like there's an energy of you not wanting to get on dating apps or you're not wanting to put yourself out there to connect with people. And I don't feel that you need to. The answer that we got in this reading is for you to trust the process. You're in separation from this karmic <clears throat> and uh, there's a past life love connection coming in. Interestingly enough, though, I don't see spirits saying that you have to stay home. So it's going to have to be a personal decision ultimately. But we have the five of pentacles. You may just be a little jaded or feeling a little under the weather at this time. And I mean, it is what it is. It's just not realistic to always feel happy. So I don't feel like you need to. <clears throat> Nice. We got the world card here. So again, your full circle moment, group one, it's coming. It is coming. It's here. And the world card is the last card of the major arcana. So it can be really bittersweet because if you got to the world, that means you've been through the tower when things just absolutely hit the fan. You know, you've been through all the cards in the major arcana. You've taken the steps to start your own journey with the fool card itself. You know, like you've been through all of these like tough lessons, the devil card with, you know, temptation and destruction. And we have the emperor and the hierophant. So spirit is saying it's time for you to sit in your knowing and to trust. And with the emperor, it's time for you to be the authority. You may be getting a lot of pressure from friends and family. And as cold as it sounds, it may be better to just, you know, cut cut the cord like in a very cut and dry kind of way because people are going to be mad anyways and people are, aren't going to accept that you may not want to hang out with them anyways so you might as well just tell people straight up like people keep trying to call you and make plans and you keep trying to do duck and dodge them the next time they hit you up 
like, I don't like to go out anymore. I was trying to hide it. I was, you know, because it's not personal. I've been doing it for everyone. I'm not hanging out with anyone, but I just don't like to do that anymore. So, yeah, I know I'm off the market. Yup. So don't call me no more, you know, trying to hang out. But um, you'll be easy. You know, it's, it's time to just go ahead and cut the cord because otherwise you're always going to be brought back to that space of frustration or disappointment in yourself because of something that you've been let go of, but you just haven't communicated to other people in your life that you let go of so you're constantly being faced with the same you know um conflict that you've been resolved or you've been chose to supersede so it may just be time to you know people they they're not getting the hint you may just have to let them know like listen i don't do that anymore or i'm not interested anymore or um Shoot, change your number. We have rainbow blessings and stepping into power. So changing your number and then stepping into your power and using that time that you would usually use to hang out with other people, go to old places or do old things. Take that time to create new habits and to do new things and to create a new routine. <coughs> you did that though, group one. You did that. At the bottom of stepping into power, it says you are strong beyond measure. I just know you guys have gone through some stuff in life. I mean, we all do. But with you, it's like the really heady stuff, like the psychological stuff that could just drive you insane. Um, I'm seeing Mastery by Robert Greene. Mastery. There's a book called Mastery. I believe the, t the cover is gold and black. But it's, ro it's by Robert Greene. Same guy who writes The 48 Laws of Power. Um, same guy who writes, um, the art of seduction, but mastery is a really, really good one because it's all about you, you know? So it's like, okay, yeah, people read the 48 laws of power and the art of seduction and they're like, damn, this is a crazy book. But once you read the one that's just about the self, it takes away all the manipulation and you just, oh my God, I, I really feel like that would transform your life. So check that out. Uh, but Rainbow Blessings says, blessings are showering your life. So I feel like you guys are walking into a, a winning season. Um, the options that you have right now are limited, but it is limited by choice, which is good because at least it's like, okay, the ball's in your court. If you ever want to play, there's going to be at least two waiting in the wings for you at all times. So you'll be able to do that. <laughs> But spirit is keeping you mainly just disconnected from this karmic connection, probably because that one is like it, it can really weigh on your spirit. Spirit is kind of, you know, really uh, focused on getting you detached from that. And other than that, you're stepping into your power. There's a soulmate connection that you're calling in and things are going up from here. So that's what I got for you, group one. My Etsy is in the description. If you'd like a private tarot reading, that is where you can find me. Uh, but that is what I got for you today. I'll talk to you soon. All right, if you chose group two with the zebra stone, this is your reading using the everyday witch tarot. We are going to see what options do you have in love right now, okay? Who wants to date you? What options do you have, Spirit? This is for group two with the zebra stone. Show us their options. Ooh. So right away, there's marriage potential for you. Oh my God, and we just had the engagement card that came out as well. Um, okay, so we have distant lover, union, and engagement. This is either someone you have in your life that you know, or this is a potential that you're very close to in the sense that, like for an example, if this isn't someone you know, it's like, I know I can make this one change and I would attract a marriage partner to me right away. I could be engaged by the end of the year and I could be married by 2024 straight up. Like, it's, it's giving that energy where it's like, oh, if I just conform to this, you know, standard or if I just, you know, conform to this ideal, I know that I could get someone manifested in right away. Or this is an energy of <clears throat> someone you've already been engaged to. But we have this distant lover card here. I almost want to clarify that with tarot to just be as specific as possible and see what spirit is referring to. But... 
there is a distant lover. So maybe this person you don't feel emotionally enough connected to because that's essentially what's missing for those of you who would just have to make that minor change in order to be in alignment with, you know, engagement, union, marriage. Um, hmm. Spirit, can you clarify distant lover? We have the nine of wands. This could be a fire sign. This could be a karmic connection. This could be someone who has already offered you marriage or someone you've talked about marriage to. But we have the hermit card. Mm. So that's almost giving me an energy of someone who said like, yeah, I'm open to marriage or I want to be married. But someone who hasn't actually made that a possibility to you. It's giving a little future faking energy. From the information I have now, I can't say definitively that they're future faking and they're being manipulative but it is giving that vibe where it's like this person knows all the right things to say but at the same time they're just not giving that to you or they're just not giving themselves to you like there's definitely something that's missing page of cups in reverse this person could have lost interest to be fair though, it does feel like you guys lost interest as well because the initial energy that I got when these cards first came out was more on your end where it's like, yeah, I have this person as a marriage option. I could lock in with this person, but you know, and then it kind of trailed off. Like you may not want to, you're looking for a connection with someone who can give you like a deeper, specifically like deeper romantically, a deep romantic connection. We got the nine of swords in reverse here. So we got some repeating nines coming up for you. You may be seeing nines a lot mixed in with your angel numbers. <clears throat> but we have the nine of swords in reverse. So this could be someone you're in a no contact with. This could be someone you've been thinking about reaching out to because you haven't spoken in a while. Um, this could also be, again, a life or a lifestyle, a way of being that is just one tick off from like who you are. So like say for an example, like as a, a feminine, there is a lot of like soft life and femininity type of stuff that's like pushed heavily into the community. This is like you knowing, you know what, I could do that. I could show up that way. I can do this. I could do that. I know that I can secure a relationship like this, but it's almost like <clears throat> what you want in a relationship is specifically a deep romantic connection. You really want to feel not like, okay, this is just any old body that's filling the void of marriage partner, but like you really want to feel that love. Your first option coming up so far though is this person. Spirit, what are the options that they have in love right now? Like I said, either someone that you're one click away off, one decision, one change, minor change within yourself away from, or someone you already know that almost feels like, to be honest, they're hanging marriage over your head and they just said it to get you kind of like to wait for them and, you know, kind of stuck on them in a way. Um, but it does not feel like that person intended to actually show up and, and do that, like be a, a partner, a husband, a wife. Spirit, spirit, show us their options. Now this is interesting. We have destiny and perfection. So spirit's kind of coming through like, you know, if you do things the right way, you'll get what it is that you want. So there may be some sort of timeline issue. Maybe your discrepancy is, spirit, I don't mind doing things the right way. I don't even mind, you know, waiting a little bit. But the amount of time you're telling me to wait, or maybe you're not getting any confirmation at all in terms of time. Um, that's the part that does not feel fair to you. But there's destiny here. You may have even gotten a reading where someone did do a timeline for you, and it was like, something crazy like seven years out, 10 years out, you know, something that you didn't want to agree with because it almost feels like you know what this is. Either a spirit's been communicating with you about this. Yeah, it's giving like soulmate energy with destiny coming up. It's giving like this is someone who was 
you were always supposed to meet, someone who was always on your path. You may have had like a prophecy to some degree or, you know, ever since you were young, you may have had a feeling or dreams about someone specific um, or someone had communicated to you that something was going to happen like late in life. You may have always gotten like that timeline of like, oh, love is going to come late for you. But it's like you have to go it, uh, you have to go about it the right kind of way, and I feel like that's just been discouraging in itself. Like having to always do things perfectly, or having to always, you know, show up as this perfect version of yourself, always making the right choices. Like, yeah, we have evaluation. You've been trying to decide if you want to subscribe to that because it's like that is not something that I can agree with. And you feel like if you agree, then you'll have to wait. We have confessions and confidence. Nice. So that could be an energy of someone else kind of, you know, thinking about you and trying to decide what they're going to do. Let me clarify that with Tarot and see what's up with this new energy. Spirit, can you clarify confessions and confidence? What's going on with this confessions energy? We have the Page of Pentacles in reverse and the Two of Wands in reverse. This person could have a Libra Moon or a Libra Venus. Shout out to y'all that got a Libra Venus. I feel like that placement would be tricky. Um, but anyways, Two of Wands in reverse, Page of Pentacles in reverse. This kind of feels like someone who may have struck out the first time they tried to talk to you or almost... They couldn't talk to you because you were in a previous connection. Someone may be wanting to talk to you that knew that you were in a relationship. It feels like someone you want or someone you worked with. I was hearing manager for all of you is not your manager. But um, yeah, that's giving me a vibe right away of someone that you may have worked with. Like someone who periodically hears little things about you. It could be someone who follows you online if you share that kind of stuff online. Or if you have a mutual friend group, that would make sense as well. Um, but this is someone who saw you as off the market before. So you may have dated their friend. Um, and that's why they felt like you were off, off the market. Or you ha may have been in a relationship before. Queen of Wands in reverse is like you were taken or you were someone else's. So they couldn't really do anything about how they felt about you. But it looks like this person will be coming forward because this is clarifying confessions. So you will see who this is soon enough. You probably already know who this is. Like I said, for me, the few scenarios I got is this could be someone in your friend group, someone who you work with, but someone who knew you were in a relationship or knew you were off limits in some way for whatever reason. I was hearing manager a minute ago. That would make sense why they felt like you were off limits. They're not trying to end up... Uh, up under HR um, with a violation. <laughs> um, but this person will be communicating how they feel. So let's see where you are at in all of this. We have the magician. You have a lot of power right now, a lot of personal power. Um, it feels like you have just learned something. It feels like you've just finished a book or you've just finished like some sort of ritual, some sort of like challenge, like a spiritual challenge, like uh, one month of spiritually cleansing once a week or one month straight, one week straight of meditation, like something like that spirit. What are their options in love right now? How is group two fitting in all of this? Nice. We have making a connection and falling in love. Oh my goodness. Spirit for group two. Working through it slowly but surely. I feel like this distant lover is going to be kind of on the back burner as an option. Probably until you get into another connection just because... The missed potential or not being able to live out the path that you originally thought you were going to be able to live out with this person, that alone is enough to keep you stuck on someone. 
but I feel like it was intentional. For some of you, it wasn't. I do feel like this person kind of bamboozled you a little bit by planting the seed of marriage and then becoming this distant lover. And I feel like they do this to multiple people. Like they tell people, oh, I want to be married or I want a long-term relationship. And then they show up like a Yahoo, like a total F boy, F girl. Like what? Your actions are not matching your words. I feel like it was a situation like that. So for some of you, it was. For some of you, you know, it was more innocent and maybe there isn't that much fault to them. Um, but with this working through it card, I can see you are struggling with the emotions to do with this situation. And you are struggling with the emotions of the path that Spirit is telling you about having to wait so long. But I do see you falling in love and making a connection spirit we have good conversation and holding back so you're going slow and taking your time to be honest I feel like some of you may end up choosing someone that's not this destiny energy I feel like some of you may end up and it's not settling but it's just like you are choosing someone who's available to you now. It's kind of just like, okay, in this life, maybe I don't need the top of the top, the very perfect partner, especially not if I have to wait. Like maybe it's not worth it if I have to wait 7, 10, 15 years for it. So I do see you falling in love and making a connection nonetheless, having good conversation with someone. And that's just the magic of this reality. I, I always have to remind myself like, there's a whole reality going on outside of you that you're not going to be able to pick up on at all. So even when things look really bad, just know there's always a possibility of someone coming in at their own free will or, you know, something changing and surprising you. And I feel like that's going to be the case. Oh, we got up all night. Y'all, what are y'all doing? Oh my God. Y'all getting freaky. <laughs> An intense healing, okay? Sexual healing. That's what it's looking like to me. There's a lot of people who are really interested or someone specifically who is interested um, in you and trying to see what you're all about. I feel like a lot of people are. And to be honest, I just, I don't know. If you're someone who's like wanting to date a masculine, like if you're looking for a masculine or a man, Listen, the energy is, is ghetto right now, okay? These masculines are moving like they want to be bad. This is, and I don't know what to say about it because it's like, I'm in shock. I'm just sitting here in shock <laughs> like everyone else. Intense gaze and investigating. It kind of feels like a lot of people are watching you, but they're peeping and they're not speaking. Like, they're observing. They have this intense gaze. They're giving you a bunch of signs and signals that they're interested, but they won't like approach you on their own accord, put their neck on the line, be vulnerable and kind of give you that traditional like courting. Um, so if that's what you're interested in, I don't know if you'll get that just because of the state of the world. But we do have commitment. So group two, I see you wifed up, booed up in a relationship, in a connection, um, probably in an engagement and married the soonest of all the piles that I'm gonna get today. Um, and ironically enough, you've been probably waiting the longest and earlier in your path, you got this long ass timeline and it's like, yeah, it's, it's looking like it was accurate. But even so, I feel like you'll be choosing a connection, someone who is available and ready to you now, someone who's gonna surprise you. So the main thing I can say for you is try to just be open group three because there's a connection that you're not going to be able to pick up on through dreams that you haven't picked up on psychically, but that's going to come in and surprise you and offer you good conversation. You'll be falling in love with this person, taking your time, but making a connection and moving forward and a commitment with them. And we have the intense healing card. So we'll see what way that comes out for you. But we got up all night that came up with intense healing. So listen, maybe that's just what you need. Maybe that's just what you need. <clears throat> it's the same thing as working out, burning the calories, burning the uh, matter in your body that holds on to certain experiences. And it can be very healthy and rejuvenating and activating. So listen, do your thing. Crack that thing open. Purr. Um, where do I want to pull? <clears throat> this 
pull from the Romance Angels. Spirit, what else can you tell us about Group 2 and the options they have? We have the passion card. It says, allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. So spirit mainly wants you to be open, but I feel like someone like you who's been through like some false chances of a new beginning or a false promise of marriage or serious commitment, it's naturally just going to be hard for you to be super passionate and open and like carpe diem with someone that you don't trust or someone who you don't know is going to be here long. Um, and I feel like the passion will grow naturally after you see the consistency from from the person who will be coming in that's giving you good conversation that you're making a commitment to um so i feel like that's okay if you don't feel that up front and that's something that'll naturally come but spirit does want you to engage in your you know your passionate side that passionate energy oh god we have reconciliation someone from your past is returning to your life it really depends on what you want to do with that. We have let go of control issues at the bottom of the deck. Allow the situation to unfold naturally is what it says at the bottom of that. So maybe this person is coming for some closure. I'm not going to leave any questions. Let me clarify this with tarot. But this reconciliation, someone coming back, it doesn't have to be because they want to be with you. Spirit, do they? Do they want to be with them romantically? What is this reconciliation? We have the moon. The moon is the unknown. And the strength card in reverse. Yeah, I feel like this is closure more than anything. But to be honest, for some of you, it is going to be like, can we make this work? Because we have the strength card in reverse. And the moon card, it was flipped over like this. And I flipped it upwards because it kind of spun. But I feel like it wanted to come out in reverse, which would be more of moon card in reverse, strength card in reverse. This is something that you're never going to be able to let go of in your head if you don't see all the way through or if you don't know the truth or you don't have this conversation. Something about this conversation needing to happen so you and them can both move on or so that you can try again because you'll always have this person in the back of your mind no matter what new connection you go into unless you really sort it out and you find out like, yeah, this isn't what I want because I've had it and I chose to walk away from it. So we have the Ten of Wands in reverse and the Sun card in reverse. That's kind of like an energy of no stone left unturned. We're really going to figure this out. We're going to go back to the beginning, especially with that Sun card that can represent uh, childhood, early on experiences. Especially with the Sun card in reverse, it's like, yeah, we have to go back because we have to see if this is something that should have really been, you know, let go of. And if it's not, then you won't. And you'll have that chance to have them again. We have taking shelter, the answers are within. So Spirit is recommending that you go within at this time. Really do that shadow work, journaling, tapping into your innermost self. If you're feeling confused, you may be called to divination yourself, maybe getting your own tarot deck. But really taking shelter is about spending time in your safe space and just protecting yourself until it's time to move forward. So yeah, that's what I got for you, group two. My Etsy shop is in the description. If you like a private tarot reading, that is where you can find me. But that is what I got for you today. I'll talk to you soon. All right, if you chose group three with the Citrine and the Arcanum Tarot, this is your reading. Let's see what's up with you guys. See what options you have in love. <clears throat> Spirit, this is for group three with the Citrine. Show us the options they have in love. Oh, we got maturity and commitment coming out right away. So right away, you're being very direct with your energy. If it's not about commitment, if you're not emotionally mature, if you got a bunch of BS, you still need to work through. I can be empathetic towards you, but you're kind of making it clear energetically upfront that you're not going to be the solution to someone's like stuff. 
Like you're not looking to take on a bunch of baggage. Um, not at this point in your journey. You want someone mature, someone healed, someone who knows what they want. We got dangerously and pick me spirit. What options do they have in love? I'm, I'm getting this fantasy energy with you where someone really wants you, but I don't feel like you're trying to give this person a chance. Like we have pick me. We just have the misaligned card that just came out. And then we have the dangerously card. So it's like this person knows that there's some sort of risk or unequal yoking that's going on in your connection or, you know, if you guys were to be together. They know that it doesn't necessarily make sense or that this wouldn't be the best option, at least for you. Um, but they still very much so want a chance with you. There is someone who really wants you to pick them, someone who really wants you to entertain them. And this may be a player. This could be someone who, you know, gives you all the signs and signals that they're attracted but you know that that attraction may be all that they have to offer or physical intimacy may be all they have to offer. So you're not going for it. We have the vulnerability card that just came out. This person is slowly but surely collecting information about you, group three. This It's giving secret admirer energy. And it's only giving secret admirer because I feel like you don't even consider this person to be an option. Um, and I feel like it's because they come across as a player or there is this energy about them where it's like you know that they just want to play games or that their ideals or what they want isn't in alignment with what you want. But this person has tried to make some sort of move towards you before, but I just feel like it was really childish. So we have vulnerability and questions. It's like this person is going around asking people what's up with you, trying to slowly but surely collect information about you. They could be asking other people like, hey, you know that girl that comes into the gym? Like, does she talk to anyone here? Like, what's her deal? Like trying to collect information about you in that way. It just kind of feels like someone is lucking out, like they keep trying to uh, make a move towards you, but it doesn't work. They try to send you some sort of sign and signal, but it's not it's not landing because you're not looking for that. Um, but I feel like slowly but surely this person is kind of coming into this place where they're being a bit more forward because I feel like they're starting to get it. Like they're starting to realize that if they don't, they're not going to have you. Spirit, can you show us their options that they have in love? <clears throat> Nice. We have being bold and confident. So there is an energy, a third energy coming through. And this person seems to be very confident. They seem to be, it seems like they know what they want. We got shake up. Nice. So I definitely don't feel like this is someone you know. And as soon as I said that, we have the reunion card that came out. So uh, low key for some of you, it may be someone you, you do know. <laughs> I spoke a little bit too soon. I'll clarify it with tarot. Spirit, is this reunion energy separate or is this the same as confidence and shakeup? We got the Ten of Swords. Ooh. And then the Four of Pentacles and the Chariot card that just so conveniently fell out the deck at the same time. Um, so the reunion energy does seem to be separate. Ten of Swords with the Four of Pentacles. This is someone you've kind of already, yeah, especially with the Chariot here. It's like you've already moved on from this person or decided that you weren't going to be with them. Like Ten of Swords is a full, final a lot of times it's like really final cycle completion, especially when it comes out with the chariot. It's like you've already moved on. So there is a reunion, this person coming back unexpectedly. I feel like it's been years. We have the four of pentacles. It's like you've protected yourself from this person. This could be your first love. This could be the person you first did certain things with. Um, that kind of energy because it definitely feels distant. It feels like you haven't spoken to this per person for quite a while. And then we have being bold, confidence, and shake up. So let's see more about that spirit. Who is this person? 
and how are they coming through? For being bold, confidence, and shake up, who are they? What do they have to offer? How is this an option? So first of all, we have the full in reverse. So this is definitely like someone you've never dated before or someone you wouldn't ever expect yourself to pair up with. Um, but the beauty about this, we have the Queen of Pentacles. This person respects your divinity. And then also the Page of Pentacles. They're coming in really in a clear energy with no expectations. They don't have this idea of a perfect wife, a perfect husband, a perfect partner that they're expecting you to amount to. They're kind of coming in in this energy where it's like, okay, let's build something unique together. And I feel like that's why it's coming through as a shakeup because it's like something you've never really experienced. Like, wow, I can really create my own perfect relationship, my own perfect reality with this person. And it doesn't feel like you've had that possibility, not like this or not with a person like this before. <clears throat> we have the three of pentacles in reverse five of swords in reverse and the ten of wands so i feel like the the tricky thing about this connection is you do have to allow it to fully come to you um this is something that is kind of completely out of your control like with the ten of wands it feels like you're already in alignment with it <laughs> and also it's an energy of this person liking you first and I feel like that's why they're being bold and they're confidently making a move because it's like, okay, I want to put my name out there. I want to put my name in the hat. Like, I want a chance. Um, so they're creating that opportunity, but it is kind of a known thing on both parties' end, on their end um, and your end, that you guys are kind of unconventional or like very different than each other. Spirit. With this pick me energy, this person asking questions about them, what can you tell us about this? How will this connection develop? We have the Knight of Swords that came out right away. The Suit of Swords is about communication and it is pretty quick moving energy. So this person may be sliding into your DM. They may be randomly complimenting you or having small talk with you, saying something to you. Knight of Swords is very direct and quick communication. That kind of leaves you a little bit like, what just happened? And we have the Seven of Swords in reverse. I love that that came out because that lets us know that they're at least coming through like in a genuine energy. They're not trying to mind F you or throw you off or, you know, slide in so they can, you know, be, you know, dishonest or manipulative in any way. Knight of Swords, they're just kind of like getting over themselves and coming through with a communication. We have the lover's card and we have the king of swords that turned over as well, but it's in reverse. So this person may have learned through experience that king of swords in reverse. If I try to bombard this person, if I try to pressure them, or if I try my same old tricks, if I try to come through in a quick, fast energy and just kind of throw their life all over the place, they may uh, really start to back out. They being you, like you may really start to back out. You may really start to change your opinion of this person. So they may have painfully learned through experience that they can't try certain stuff with you. And if they're going to come, they have to come correct. Now, this is what gets me. We have the lover's card here. So the lover's card is divinely guided. That would indicate that spirit is in support of this connection. So maybe it just kind of took some time for you two to come around. Or if this is like soulmate energy, soulmate connections always have lessons attached to it. So maybe this was the lesson like how to get over yourself so that you can be vulnerable to another person and have potential for love. We have the Seven of Wands. Yeah, that's like an energy of them going through the gauntlet. We got the Strength card at the bottom of the deck. We have the Knight of Cups and the Seven of Wands. So I think they learned like, okay, 
it's a very happy medium that you have to come at group two in. You have to come in in night energy where it's like you have enough experience and knowledge to be someone that they can trust and you have to take definitive action and you have to be confident about it, but you can't overpower them or try to put them into a box, you know, you can't try to control them. Like I feel like they kind of learn through experience like, okay, Knight of Cups, I'm going to have to be a little chivalrous with them. I'm going to have to, you know, romance them. I'm going to have to kind of create that interest. So slowly but surely, it seems like you guys are learning each other and they finally got to hang on the perfect balance of, okay, how to communicate with you? What do you best respond to? Because maybe they were striking out before be because their like communication was just off. Like, me personally, I have this thing where it's like, I will ignore you if you kind of talk under your breath. If you don't say it with confidence, I, I don't know why it's a trigger for me. I don't know why I don't like it, but I just want to entertain it. And it's like some people, when they flirt with you, it's like, <laughs> like they want to mumble over their words and I'm not going to cackle it and I'm not even know what I'm laughing about because I'm just laughing to make you feel better. But because I feel awkward, I don't know what you said. Like I'm not doing all of that. So maybe you have like a personal trigger like that or something that's just like a ick. Like, if you do that, I don't like it. I'm not going to respond well to it. And this person has gotten the memo. <laughs> um, and there's a lot of support around this connection. Like I said, we got the lover's card here. It's real nice energy. And we have the seven of wands. I love that because that means that they have been taking initiative. We also got two sevens that came out for them. Um, we had that seven of swords in reverse that came out before. So you may be seeing combinations of sevens. Um, in terms of angel numbers, let me spirit with this reunion energy, like I said, four of pentacles, it seems like you've pretty much decided you're going to protect yourself from this person or stay away from this person with the chariot card. It does seem like you've moved on and it does seem like you've moved on a while ago. Um, but spirit, can you show us if anything will come of this? We have the judgment card in reverse. So to be honest, they're probably not supposed to be back. Nine of pentacles in reverse. It doesn't seem like you want to make an investment in them. Um, and we have the nine of swords. So we got some repeating nines with this one. We got repeating sevens with this one. All about luck and opportunity, creation. And we got repeating nines with this one. Talking about cycle completion, learning lessons, moving beyond power into wisdom. <laughs> It's very telling. Um, but yeah, that judgment card. Mm -hmm. This may have been a, a, a this may have been a connection that happened in 2020. The judgment card is card number 20. This may have been a connection that ended in 2020 or had something to do with 2020. Um, but no, I don't feel like you will entertain that. I feel like you will move on from that connection. Spirit, anything you want to tell us about maturity and commitment? So we have the reunion energy. This person, like I said, is giving first love. You probably already know who this is. We have this new person. You're not aware of this person at all. This is going to be a shakeup. It's going to come through totally unexpectedly. This person is being bold and approaching you with a lot of confidence. And then we have this person that's been kind of lingering around you for like, for some of you weeks, for some of you months. <laughs> like, um, that's been kind of, it's interesting because I feel like they've been trying to bait you. But at the same time, they're really a pick me because they really want you to choose them and chase them. So it's very interesting how they're like low key trying to get, you know, to bait you or have been in the past. But we've moved beyond that. Like I said, we had all that good stuff. We got the lovers. We got the Knight of Cups, the Knight of Swords. So this person is coming through in uh, a much more efficient energy. Um, but you're likely aware of this person. You know who this is. There's been some flirtation, but it just hasn't gone anywhere or it fizzled out after this person tried to get you to come out of your comfort zone and basically chase them. Spirit, for maturity and commitment, anything we need to know about this? <clears throat> I 
I feel like this is more your energy and your standard at this time. Nice. We got the two of cups. Like spirit is saying you've learned a lot and you're aligning yourself with best case scenario. Wow. That's fabulous. Two of cups and the 10 of cups to clarify maturity and commitment. So you are in an energy where you are divinely guided to best case scenario. You are in alignment with best case scenario with that two of cups. The two of cups always recommend, or sorry, already always recommend represents some sort of external force affecting your situation um and we have like it looks like a planet or the sun in the background there so i feel like your astrology may be in alignment with a new partner coming in check out your transits and what you have transiting right now um but i feel like that's more your energy than anything Spirit, what else can you tell us for group three? We have keep an open mind. It says your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. And if I had to say, I would say that this applies to this person the most. Um, and also a little bit to this situation. Spirit is saying, keep an open mind. Try not to make up your mind that someone is trash, that they can't do anything for you. Allow them to show up properly and allow yourself to get a real chance at love by moving forward, moving past all that noise from the back or in the background. Um, you deserve love at the bottom of this one. It says you are lovable. So you're in a very lovable energy right now. You're in two of cups, ten of cups energy where you're mature, you're showing up properly, and you're ready for commitment. Nice. We got this could be the one. So for you, group three, the next person you date may be like the one, you know, the person you've been waiting for. Um, it is safe for you to love, says open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. Um, so Spirit is saying this is your time to open up. You may be guided to like hip opening yoga. You may be guided to yin yoga. Any form of yoga that has to do with opening up your energy, opening up your heart space, you may be called to certain things that are doing that or your heart may be unlocking itself by itself at this time. So you may be having a heart chakra awakening. That happens differently for everyone. For some people, there's a lot of tears. For some people, um, it's just like one of those heart activations where you feel like everything is love I love everyone I want to help everyone I can feel everyone's energy so it's a spectrum with that but now that you know it's associated with your you know heart chakra opening it'll be easier to kind of navigate because it's not something that you should be like really concerned about in a negative way uh, we have deception and give your relationship a chance. Um, give your relationship a chance is really about manifestation. And usually that card comes out when there's something to do with time. So spirit is just saying, bear with me, bear with us, be patient. There is so much going on in the background that you're not even aware of. And the truth is oftentimes more salacious than the story. So in your head, you may think like, oh, you know, it's nothing. And really there's like a whole alternative you know, path going on that you're not even tapped into, spiritual warfare, all sorts of crazy stuff spirit is blocking you from. So just try to be patient and understanding. Uh, and we have the deception card. Someone is wearing a false self mask in this relationship. I would definitely say it's probably the reunion energy. Just because they have such a strong attachment to you that someone in this energy where it's like they feel like they literally don't have a chance or no option. <clears throat> I feel like that one's the most likely to come off um, and, and kind of flip into a shadowy kind of energy. But I also feel like deception can apply to this pick me energy. And I feel like that's just further confirmation. Like, listen, I know it seems like, you know, this person, everyone's attracted to them, but when they're used to that, they become entitled to that. And you don't give them that you can bring out a very not confident, you know, version of someone that can really surprise you. So make sure you're present in your body and your experience so that you can feel things through correctly so that you always make your right moves to protect yourself and to notice when something is off so that you can address that. But I see a lot of good things coming for you, group three. 
those are your options. That is what I got on my end. Um, my Etsy shop is in the description if you'd like a private tarot reading. And that is where you can find me. But that is what I got for you today. I'll talk to you soon. All right, if you chose group four with the clear quartz and the third eye tarot, this is your reading. We're gonna see what options do you have in love right now. Okay, Spirit, this is for group four with the clear quartz. Show us their options in love. Hmm. Well, there seems to be a person in your energy right away that's determined to go against all odds to be with you. But at the same time, I do feel like there's very real differences between the two of you. And this person may even pressure you to try to like surrender to whatever ideals or standards that they succumb to or that they think you should follow. It's definitely giving like trying to make, you know, someone who's adventurous and free-spirited be like a house husband, a housewife, a, you know, stable, live in the same house for years and then retired. Like, it's not, it's not a match. It, it definitely seems like that kind of vibe. Um, determined at the bottom of that when it says, I will find a way at the bottom of imperfections, it says making you change though. So it's like <clears throat> this person keeps ending up with you on their mind. They keep ending up back to you and vice versa. You end up always thinking about this person again and wondering what they're up to or wanting to be with them. And there is very real differences between the two of you. So it's been really hard to navigate. We have abundance in dreams, so this is something that is affecting your love life right now. You're in alignment with abundance. You're about to have some sort of level up in life. <clears throat> Probably one that leads you to a windfall or leads you to... I gotta cover their face or my camera just brightens up crazy. Um, or some sort of abundance that leads you to making like considerably more money. This could even be fame. Um, but we have the dreams card here. So spirit may be communicating to you through dreams or showing you who you should be with through dreams, giving you truth, information about what really someone has going on or their true feelings, their true intentions, like through your dreams. And it may be hard for you to trust that because it's coming through in your dreams, but it's definitely accurate. Any, any dreams you're having right now, it's, it's definitely spirit trying to communicate to you what's really going on in the background of your situation. Spirit, show us their options. Oh my goodness. So there's definitely an energy of someone of the past who wants another chance. We have renewal, unconditional that came out, and then reunion. After renewal, I was already like, okay, are you talking about someone of the past or are they feeling renewed? Spirits like reunion, reunion, like a person. <laughs> so there is someone from your past that does seem to love you unconditionally, but I'm almost getting like a childlike energy with this person where it's like they kind of see you as this version of you that you just aren't anymore. Like they always see you as the freshman version of you or the whatever old, you know, whatever you're old that you were when you knew them or met them. They always see you as that version of you. You. And especially if you've come into some abundance and you've been leveling up, amassing any sort of fame or notoriety, it's definitely hard for this person to see you in that way. And it's almost like they won't give you that clout, you know, they won't give you that like congratulations on those, you know, accomplishments that you've made. Like they won't even acknowledge your success. Um <clears throat> That's kind of weird, but regardless, this person does love you unconditionally, and there's a reunion. This person will be coming back. Nice. You guys are the first group that got this card. The only group, because you're group four. We have the new love card, so a flat out new love energy available coming through for you. Definitely a strong energy of someone of the past. Oh, that makes sense. We have the wake up call card here. So perhaps they have had some sort of scary moment like a car accident or, you know, losing a loved one. We have wake up call and faithful. 
this person is acting like they've been scared. Like, you know, they've been scared straight. Like, you know, that show, that jail show. It's like they act like they done been through it and they done seen the light now. And they're ready to be faithful. They're ready to show up and be responsible. Um, I'm going to do these one by one and see what all they're giving. Spirit, let's talk about new love for this new love connection. Tell us about this person. Tell us about this connection. What is the potential here? <clears throat> we have the Eight of Cups in reverse. And that's funny because I literally heard that. Spirit was like, start with someone else. And I was like, no, let's start with new love. And now we have eight of cups in reverse. So your past is affecting this new love. I almost want to say it may be conditional. Like you have to at least close the cycle with this new love. Or sorry, with this renewal person. Okay, let's start with them. Spirit, what energy are they coming through on? Why is this significant? We have the Ten of Swords and the Seven of Wands in reverse. I feel like this person needs to know how they impacted you and how they affected you. And also, I do feel like Spirit is calling you to kind of pop their bubble a little bit. Because like I said, they kind of see you in this way where it's like they refuse to see you in any other way than how you were when you dated them. Or, you know, they refuse, they refuse to see you beyond your younger version of yourself that you know you were when you first met them but with the ten of swords i feel like this person wants to make an attachment to you with the unconditional card and even though they have had a wake-up call and they're willing to show up faithful i do feel like you deserve to see what else is available to you so this person may have recently come into your life or they may be coming soon. Just a heads up, prepare for that because it feels very eight of wands. It feels very fast and sudden that this person will come through. Um, but it feels like they just kind of live with their head in the clouds and I feel like you've ignored it either to be nice or <clears throat> maybe you haven't found your voice when you were with them. <clears throat> So it's now, now it's time to let them know, like by burst their bubble, I mean like, listen, that version of me that you see or that version of me that you know, I'm not that person anymore. Like telling them straight up, I'm not that person that you used to date though. So if you do want to date me, you're going to have to get to know me in a new way and a personal way. And I'm very different. Like spirit is saying, let them know, like, this isn't that I'm not trying to look for a repeat of the past. We have the High Priestess card. Ultimately, I feel like you may keep this person around because they're an option and they will always be an option. Um, so that's even more reason to, you know, kick them to the curb and do your thing because they're always going to be an option. T. Bottom of the deck, we have the King of Wands. I almost get a watchful energy with that King of Wands at the bottom of the deck. Like there is someone watching to see how you move. And I feel like it's got to be spirit or like your angels, your spirit guides, someone who's directly involved with your energy. It's definitely not the new love connection itself. But I do feel like it is spirit kind of watching to see how you move. And that's going to have a ripple effect in the universe to determine like, who comes in next or what you experience next. So we have the high priestess. You likely already know how you feel or what to do. And I just get an energy of standing up to the bully. I don't feel like this person is necessarily a bully, but I definitely feel like their energy is very intense. And I mean, at a certain point, not regulating yourself is just as bad as, you know, being intentionally intense. Like this person not regulating their emotions and coming into your life like a tornado time and time again, throwing you off. Like I feel like ultimately that's the same as like covert manipulation because if it has the same effect and you do it time and time again, like <clears throat> same thing. Spirit. What can you tell us about new love? Page of Cups, very much so new love energy. 
I feel like this person is going to come in very adventurous and very fun. It's like this person is coming in on a totally new energy. If you've never gone paintballing, this person wants to take you paintballing. If you've never gone on a hike, this person wants to take you on a hike. Like they want to do that challenging stuff that has like the high, high reward. Like they want to, you know, show you a view in the city that you've never seen before. And it's just like, it's reminding me of my way, on my way to the gym this morning, I just so happened to look at the side of the road at the perfect time and there was this little bitty opening and I drive, I've been driving on this road. I drive on it all the time to go to the gym and I just so happened to look and I looked and where I looked, there was this like ever so slight clearing and it was just like trees only on the edges of the street, but like the hugest body of water, like the most beautiful pond. It literally looked like the meadow in uh, Twilight. <laughs> like it was so beautiful and I'm like, yo, are you serious? Like this beautiful piece of nature just ducked off here like you wouldn't even know I say all that to say this person they're going to be giving you experiences like that where it's like I lived in the city for however long and I never knew this was here or this is a hidden gem this person wants to show you new experiences we have the six of swords in reverse and the king of swords in reverse this person is very um very intentional about moving slow and building a genuine connection. Um, we have the Knight of Pentacles in reverse and the Page of Cups. So this person, they're kind of like taking you on dates. I feel like your dates are always very adventurous and like something new that you've never done. Um, but that's their vibe, kind of introducing you into a new world. And that's kind of like what they have to offer. Um, but it's almost like this person, they're very emotionally tapped in, very emotionally mature. It's like they can kind of tell that you may have some things that are holding you back. Or they can kind of tell that you want to take your time or that you have some cycles that you're working through. Like they're treating you very much so like an individual. They're not trying to impose their desires or beliefs on you. Spirit, what is going on with determined and imperfections? What is this energy? We have the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. We have the Three of Swords in reverse. <clears throat> yeah, I feel like it's going to be up for this person. We got the Ten of Wands. There's one more card that fell. And the devil in reverse. Yeah, so I feel like you've learned your lesson. And we were talking about this energy at the beginning of the reading, so I don't remember exactly everything that I was getting for them. But I do know there was a strong energy of them kind of trying to make you change a little bit. And with the devil in reverse, it's like, this may be like, I don't want to say twin flame energy just because we have that mirror symbolism, but I just feel like there's a shadowy energy to do with this person and it has something to do with your image and I don't I get so feral about that like one thing I just will not accept is when people try to change other people for their benefit like this is a whole soul with its own purpose and here you go with your measly mediocre 3d human self trying to tell me to change for what like for your ideal so that you can just be happy, like, screw you. Like, I get so feral about that. I just don't tolerate that. <clears throat> so I'm definitely on your side with that one. It just feels kind of icky, but I feel like you've already learned that this can't work out. And with the Ten of Wands, it may just be too much to be with this person. Queen of Pentacles in reverse, you may start to feel low with this person or like they don't respect you. And we have the Strength card at the bottom of the deck. So it seems like for the majority of you, you have outgrown this energy. So I don't feel like it'll go anywhere. <clears throat> I'm going to clarify abundance and dreams, even though this isn't a person. And then we'll move forward. See what else we got. Spirit, anything else we need to know about abundance? Anything else we need to know about dreams? The hangman just wanted to come out a second ago. It didn't come all the way out, though. For abundance and dreams, anything else? Anything else we need to know? 
you're co-creating with spirit right now and your path financially or your financial situation is connected to love. And just as I said that, we have the Queen of Swords here with the lovers in reverse underneath it. So it does look like love actually comes second in your life and that's probably by choice with the Queen of Swords. Or at this time, abundance is more important to you. <clears throat> so... Love may be on the back burner or things may happen like significantly slower than they do for other people, um, for you because of your energy right now and kind of focusing more on abundance, focusing more on financial stability and figuring out like your career path and how you're going to make money in this life or how you're going to find security and stability over... Love, love may just be secondary. We have the trust card and then we have soulmate. So I feel like you're meeting your soulmate this year. Uh, soulmate, yes, this is your soulmate is what it says at the bottom of that one. And trust says the situation is calling for you to have faith. So in terms of your love life right now, group four, spirit is really just calling for you to have faith. Honestly, it seems like everything is kind of happening to you versus like you being in a super manifester kind of position where you're calling in all the shots and having to do everything. It feels way more natural and automated we have passion and forgiving and learning so all of these connections like from the past it does definitely seem like they're coming in for a reason and that reason does seem to be to get the cycle completion because I'm looking at this renewal energy and even this kind of like leans towards cycle completion magician in reverse like something that can't be capitalized on ten of swords and then you had this person that had ten of wands so you may be seeing ten ten as an angel number but with the connections with people that are kind of like misaligned you're getting that ten symbolism where it's like ten of wands this is you know too much too heavy or this isn't something that you'll choose to move forward with in your future and then we got the high priestess with this one. So you probably very much so know the potential and whether or not you should engage with that person. And even though they've had a wake up call and they're showing up faithful and, uh, you know, wanting to love you, you may not want that person anymore. Um, so there's a lot of, you know, forgiving and learning that's happening. And I almost want to say that it'll happen before the new love connection comes in. But at the same time, you've been prioritizing a different path and that path is money. So I feel like spirit is, you know, encouraging you to remain loyal to your financial goals. Forgiving and learning says as you release and heal the past, you experience more love in present moments. Uh, passion says allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. So perhaps that's what it was because it's like, man, I hate the conditional energy. So sometimes you just have to accept it. When spirit tells you like, okay, you have to handle this first. But me personally, I just don't like that energy. So <laughs> honestly, I kind of try to avoid it as much as possible. But I feel like it's not that it's conditional that you get cycle completion and that you close out these two cycles before you get to engage in new love or better things. I just feel like it's going to allow you to experience deeper love and to really feel like the extent of how deep the connection is with your new partner when you don't have all of these kind of cycles that are unclosed or just kind of left unfinished where you still feel like hate or anxiety, resentment, anything negative to do with past cycles. And I feel like that's really why spirit is putting this at the forefront, at the top of the priority list for you. Not because it's like, okay, until you handle these, new love won't come in, but just so you can experience like a, a more deeper love in the present moments uh, because you've released like anything from the past. And we have the passion card that says, allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. So it's like, how are you going to allow your heart and soul to sing with joy if you got all this BS on your mind or if you have like you know, the energy of these past connections, or if, if they're still coming in, try like and starting to influence your ability to experience new love. So we have the breaking trail card that came out, it kind of fell out 
as this card came out really, but it's always a helpful message. At the bottom of Breaking Trail, it says a breakthrough is at hand, and I do feel like that does apply and is accurate for you. But we have the wise leader card. You're a beacon for others. That means that you are the high priestess. You're really locked in on your high priestess. And I feel like that's another thing. You're starting to realize how much responsibility it actually means to be a high priestess. So it may be shadowy at times or something that's hard for you to accept or manage at times. But Spirit is calling you to be in the leadership position and the person that's kind of taking the reins and, you know, having these hard conversations so that you can experience more love. That is what I have for you, Group 4. My Etsy shop is in the description. If you'd like a private tarot reading, that is where you can find me. But that is what I got for you today. I'll talk to you soon. Thank you.